Hey, where are my southern folks at? Yep, I'm going way back down there with you, because what are we doing? We're talking about grits. But I'm not talking about grits just for breakfast. I'm talking about shrimp and cheesy grits with all the good vegetables and all that flavor to bring it out. Come on, me and the southern folk will wait on you this time. We got manners. Hey, thank y'all for stopping by the backyard. Woo, it is a glorious day and we glad to have each and every one of you are because what are you? You are family. Is that how that song goes, uh -huh. Shen? Because they, everybody out there watching, we consider y'all family. And what do we do here? Woo, we do some grilling, some cast iron cooking. We take the old, we take the new. Every once in a while we even go crazy and throw something in you ain't never seen and top it all off with a happy dance and some puppy dogs, we do. So what are we talking about today? I'm talking about grits. What? I yeah. I don't really even know what grits are. Well, you know, grits, to me, when I was little, that was during the Dust Bowl, and my dad would tell me about they got grits, you know, in their teeth, grit in their soul. But now grits is like a stone ground corn or maize many years ago, 16th century. I mean, it goes way back, it does. And the Native American tribe, the Muscogee tribe, was there, and they made this dish called rockahaman. And is, that, I, is that the correct pronunciation? I, let's talk about how we're going to do these grits today, and that's shrimp and cheesy grits all combined in one pot. I was just going to do a video on shrimp and grits, and then I thought, then we'll do a video on cheese and grits, but why not combine them all and you know the cowboy? He's going to have to throw a twist in there two or three times, so let's get started before something else happen. So, grits. Yep. Don't be thinking, oh, I'm going to go down there and buy me some of them instant grits at the store. People will throw a stone grinder at you as you come out if you see some of them people and they know. I'm talking about Carolina grits. Now, there's white corn and there's yellow corn. Now, I prefer if I'm going to have me some grits, some white grits. And I'm going to let Shan zoom on in here and you can see how that's been ground up pretty good. It has, but you can see the corn in it in there. Mm. We got three cups of boiling water over and then we gonna add us some grits. But before we add them grits, guess what? We're gonna add some salt to that water. Now usually this is about a three to one ratio all the time, three cup water to one cup grits. And have you one of these ready? So we got our grits in here, one cup, three cups of water that's just begin to boil. Pick up your handy dandy whisking tool. Let them come to a boil. I like to just let them warm back up and boil. And then what we gonna do? Mm, look here, half and half. Two cups. We're going to bring that back to a bowl and then we're going to put it on some low heat and just cover it and let it sit there and stay warm while we go on with the rest of it. We got us some shrimp here, them good red shrimp. Look at, ooh, they so pretty they are. Been peeled and day vain. They are uncooked, but we got to make ooh. a little marinade to get them to go in. Now, take your lemon and just roll them around there gently because what has lemon got in it? Acid. What does acid do? Breaks down, brings out flavor. So. Let's go ahead and don't slice him here, okay? Because when you squeeze him, what happens? I don't know. You get a lot of seeds. Oh. So we're going to squeeze him right here on the Look end. At these fun tips from Cowboy Ken. Yes, I mean culinary facts are just pouring out of him faster than anything. So make sure you get all that in there. He's, he says he don't know what the dish is today because he's really confused. Now set that right here and look here what we got, Shane. A dried ancho chili. Mm-hmm. Now... If it is just me, I'd have diced up the whole thing, kept all them seeds and everything. But Shan and the Beagle allow that we sometimes get stuff too hot. So I got my slap and chop from Pampered Chef I do. And look there, we have ground ancho chili powder. Now you can use as little or a lot as you want. A teaspoon to a half a tablespoon. I'm just going to use all of it. And I'm just going to sprinkle it in there. And then I'm just going to let them shrimp just sit there and love on some of that lemon juice and that ancho chili powder. And I mean, that's already looking pretty. I mean, mm-hmm. And just let it sit there and soak on that flavor. But guess what, Shan? It's time to check on the grits, it is. So we got them on medium-low. They're beginning to thicken just a little here at the start. Just remember to stir them every once in a while because we're going to let them go about 15 to 20 minutes till they get that right consistency, which is thick, Sort of like malt meal, cream of wheat, something like that stuff. And then we're just going to turn it off, keep them over, and let them stay warm. But hey, if we're going to do this, we got to have what? Some fat, some bacon fat. 
So we're gonna get these out of the sun. Stargazer's over there preheating. We finna cook us up some hog meat. Eight slices of thick cut hog meat in that there Stargazer skillet. I need you to get it browned up. Don't forget to stir on that, what you call it, them grits. Let's take that out of there and just place it on a paper towel to cool. And when it gets cooled, we're gonna crumble. But right now, we're gonna check on them there grits and I'm gonna show you what we're after here. You can see them have begun to get about that consistency. We gotta let them set for about 15, 20 more minutes as we put all this other stuff together. So they're gonna get a little thicker than that. Heat can either be really, really low or plumb off. I like to leave mine right there on a little bit of low that we just get the rest of that moisture out of there and they become just right. Now, I need to be talking to you about your apparatus you're gonna fry that bacon in. And I really do love that 12 inch stargazer cause it's really good thick wall there and we need to hold that heat in, but we need for it to be deep enough to hold all this dish when we get through. And that bacon grease you had in there or sometimes what was they called many years ago? You got any of them drippings in there? Well, I sure do. Got them right there in that skillet and look here. Onion, celery, bell pepper, bell pepper, bell pepper. What do we got? The Trinity. I mean, it's what you make everything good with. Pour it right in there. We're going to cook this down till them onions is good and translucent and all them vegetables are really tender. And then we're going to add some green chili and garlic to it. Now, there's the twist. Y'all caught it, didn't you? Green chilies, uh huh. Well, I like them in mine, so that's the way we're going to have them. Just keep stirring this every once in a while. Keep an eye on your grits. Get ready to your thickness that you want. Turn them plumb off. Just set them over where they stay warm. You see me with the bell peppers and the onions. Cook them about eight to 10 minutes till they got pretty good, what you call translucent, uh-huh. Then we put in a can of them four ounce can of hatch green chilies. Just throw them in there. They're the diced kind. And then right at the end, went ahead and put in there two minced garlic cloves. Now. I need you to get them marinated shrimp that was in there with that lemon juice and all that stuff. And let's dump them right in here. Mix it really well, just so they get some of them flavors incorporated. And guess what? Turn the heat off. Cause we are just gonna let it set there until we get ready to put it all together. Now, the grits sit over there about maybe 15 minutes and we just put the lid on them, set them aside to cool. Mm, they so good. But right there is a meal all in its own, but folks, mm -mm, we ain't near finished. Let me get that off the burner and we'll go on making a roux. The butter has about melted, so what are we going to do, Shen? We're going to make a roux. What is a roux? Is it a thing from Australia that hops around? No, it's R-O-U-X. It is a thickening agent for gravy, it is. Four tablespoons of butter, about a fourth of a cup of flour. Sprinkle her in there. And you got to watch this, folks, because it will try to burn if it gets a chance. You may even have to take it off the heat. But we got to cook this till we get that good color, which is probably going to take five or six minutes. So y'all bear with me and we'll get her done. We've been on about eight to 10 minutes stirring constantly and you can see the consistency we have there. That's what I'm after. Now, if you want to cook this till it browns just a little, you can, but be careful. There's a fine line between browning and burning. So I need you now just to slide that skillet back over on the heat and just sort of Space that out in there with them shrimps and them vegetables. Big is looking up, he is licking up any excess amounts that might have fell out. And to that, we are gonna add us some what? Some chicken broth. As my friend Justin Wilson would say, I guarantee you, you got to have it about a cup full. Run it around through there. And then, mm, we gotta be having some Lee and Perrins, uh-huh. And Justin said what? Use it like you love it. So we're gonna put about that much in there. How much is that? A guaranteed right amount. Now, everybody be thinking, you remember that bacon from a long time ago? I wonder what happened to it. Did the beagle get it? Nope, I've had it out of beagle range. So in it goes with the rest of it, it does. Our little grits are still sitting over there getting warm. Stir this. We're gonna cook them till they're a little pinkish opaque color, okay? That is the culinary word for the day. And it don't take long because folks, mm, it is going to be some fine dining. You don't want to overcook them shrimp. So when you first begin to see them turn pink, let's get them out of there.
Well, it is near a done deal, it is. Now, you see me bring them grits over here. Dip that spoon in there to make sure that when you turn it up like that, it'd stay on the spoon. Wouldn't hardly even fall off. That is the right consistency. And then I'm gonna take me some of that cheddar cheese, about a cupful, and I'm just gonna shred her down in there, mix it up. It's hot enough that you have done made what? Cheesy grits. Yeah, y'all was wondering where that was gonna come into play, wasn't you? Cheesy grits. Get that stargazer skiller back over here close, and I mean put you a lerp and helping double dose of that shrimp and that goodness on top. I like to top mine with a little bit of that Red River Ranch right there. The okay. mesquite flavor. And then I like to take a bite. Mm -hmm. mm. Then I like to take another bite. Folks, I don't know if y'all know it or not. Cowboy been laying under the weather, so he gonna do the I ain't got no gallbladder no more dance. That's about it right there. But uh, Why don't you be honest with the YouTube folks about you and grits? Okay, I was never raised around grits. I wasn't, forgive me, Southern, because I know I love you, I do. But we- You don't really even like grits. I never did find a grit I really liked, but I think the only kind of grit I was ever getting was what? Instant grits. They is a great difference, so folks. how do you feel about this one? Ooh, I could eat this all day long. Mm. Grits ain't just for breakfast. They for any time of the day. People after me all the time, oh, Shando, never get a bite. I got a bite. You're gonna get a bite now. Mm. Good, ain't it? That's good. So, let me go ahead and feed my help today. Big, he come from the south, he said. So, there's his grits. Where is the mage? There's the mage, he got some grits. Look at Dookie, a northerner coming in for the grits. And Sadie, yep, the mama pup says she likes some grits. Clean that spoon off there for me, Big, would you? Thank you so much. And folks, stick around till the very end in the bloopers there. We're going to have a live puppy update. Oh my gosh, they are wearing us out. They are. Everything that we use today and the recipe will be in the little link below to where you can find this. Get the family in the kitchen, get them all together, and let's make us some what? Mm -mm, shrimp and cheesy grits. That's what I'm talking about. And as always... I thank our servicemen and women and all the veterans and everybody that's keeping me safe and them guys that flew by, they's waving at me. I thank y'all so much for keeping old Gloria flying there in camp, we do. To the rest of you, woo we we just love you so much. We're glad to have you. Every Wednesday at 2.30 Central, it's time to break out the goodness, the happiness, and just feel the joy up in your heart. I wanna tell you, God bless you each and every one, and I'll see you down the mm -mm cheesy grit shrimp trail. Hey, looky there. There's some of our good fellers that we love and support flying by. They probably knew we was doing shrimp and grits. Yeah, it's a to-go order. They're going to be back to pick it up. Oh, Mage, can you help? Good job, guys. And that good little bit. Whoo, and that star grazer, star grazer. Do you need a reset? <laughs>